<laughs> say a bunch of cool shit. <laughs> I've got a lot to say We need even more to prove I can tell the threat now What is up, dudes? I got my microphone right in front of me tonight because I got Mike here with me. What up? We just watched Halloween Ends. Butthole. I don't know what's going on anymore. It's ruined me. I'm sad. I'm gonna share this out. Halloween and and Halloween. Yeah, it's Halloween, and for the first day this whole month, I am sad. <laughs> I'm so stoked for this movie to finally drop. You gotta turn that off. He's gonna feed back on that. I thought I turned it off. Really, not all the way. Mm -hmm. Just gonna tweet this out. Sorry, guys. It's taking forever because my soul is crushed. I'm life again, Jesus. Live! Day 13, the movie today was The Banker, the actual good movie I rewatched right before Mike showed up today. Uh, it's not great, but it is a rad movie. Um, better than Halloween fucking ends, holy shit. Yeah, uh, I'm still floored, man. I, like I was telling you, I figured I wouldn't like it as much as Halloween Kills, even though everybody else hated Halloween Kills. But holy shit, man, that was insane how bad that was. I, as I said, I always hold out hope that, you know, it's going to be good, but I seem to be just getting disappointed lately. Yeah, I'm like, uh, I, uh, don't know what to think anymore. I thought they did a solid job, even with the schlockiness of kills. And then we got that tonight. So I don't know what the fuck's going on anymore. That is like, uh, like you were saying, like, that's what they thought we wanted to end on? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> It was like, all you had to do was, like, old-ass Michael Myers is going to go fucking ape shit one last time and kill a bunch of people. Because that's kind of what Halloween Kills didn't really make good on. Uh, like, there's a decent amount of kills, but he doesn't really go berserk other than, like, maybe the, the fire department scene. And so I was like, we gotta rewatch that one after. Make sure I'm not just, like, misremembering things. Try to cleanse the palate. Yeah. Holy shit, man. I don't want to say too much about it. I don't want to, like, spoil it for people who haven't watched it yet. Because it literally has been out for, like, maybe three hours now. But Dropped at 8 o'clock, right? Yeah, it was 11. Whew! So we'll put on kills. I'll bring some sketch cards out there. and Maybe do some, some Michael Myers from a good Halloween movie. Holy shit. This guy from the banker to is like uh, doing the bad guy from it. And he's kind of like proto, what is it, Patrick Bateman from uh, American Psycho? Yes. Um, kind of feels like a discount version of him, like before American Psycho. <laughs> it's like, I wonder if, like, fucking. Uh, Christian Bale looked at this movie at all. The hooker hunting war paint. Man. At least we know Halloween Kills is like a fun movie that we put on after. 
fucking Mikey Knight. <laughs> I was like, man, it's going to be so cool. Maybe we do have to make a point of going to see Terrifier this weekend. Right. Make up for that. Yeah, holy shit. Now I just want some sh some schlocky horror. Oh, broke my lid. I'm all emotional, damn it. <laughs> yeah, what a weird fucking movie. Last thing I ever would have done with a Halloween, I guess. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe I'll watch it again and fall in love with it. It's Halloween Kills at first. I was kind of like, what the fuck? But Maybe. But first impressions are often yeah. strong for a reason. I wasn't uh, this passionately confused. Uh, as I am with this one. I'm just, like you were saying early on in it, there were the components in it for it to be like a good movie, and it was just like nobody thought to do like a second pass of this script. Yeah. It's bad too, and like all of the, uh, the writers credited on the movie are like people who have written like a bunch of random bullshit that's never been heard of by anyone before were like horror writers and then just uh was it danny mcbride and uh david gordon green yep uh it's fuck man i'm still reeling from that yeah Crank through this so I can get right into painting. Because I'm past. Yeah. Be angry no matter what. Yeah, right. I'll check the chat in a second here, guys. <laughs> All right, cool. Nobody chat. That's <laughs> totally cool too. Hang out with Mike. Everyone's crank awesome. through this bad boy, and then we can get back to more Halloween movies. Everyone's having emotions right now. Yeah, yeah, right. Everybody else is watching Halloween Kills and being or Halloween Ends and being confused as fuck. <laughs> I think, too, The Banker, the one that was tonight's movie, uh, pretty sure if I remember correctly, I first heard about it because it was, like, uh, on Quentin Tarantino's picks of, like, uh, his favorite movies of that year, 1989, I believe, and I was like, whoa, I've never heard of this weird fucking movie. I gotta check this shit out. It was a guy wearing like Native American war paint, killing hookers with a crossbow. And a lot of beat shots. Yeah, right. You'd expect that. It's like, oh, I get why he likes this. <laughs> I 
think it's more so just because it feels like a made for TV porno. It's like, oh, I know why Tarantino likes this movie. <laughs> or Low Res is about to suffer through that Halloween. Oh yeah, it was also still raining like a motherfucker when I went out. Uh, Harder than ever, apparently. So definitely next time I go out, I'm going out through the garage. <laughs> okay. He basically runs around like naked, like hunting hunters with a crossbow, and it's demented. I think there was a great line in it too, a Robert Forster, where like after like multiple hookers have been killed, he's like, "This guy's really pissing me off." <laughs> it's like a great delivery for just a fucking absolutely ridiculous line. You know, name like the banker, you would like. What else would you expect? You're gonna kill hookers and do it violently with crossbows. Absolute fucking idiot. Oh shit.
I'm still thinking about like all the unresolved shit in Halloween ends. Yeah, there's so many things I want to say. Yeah, I'm it's like, like, I can't, I shouldn't say that. <laughs> I'm like thinking about when they're walking out of the supermarket at the beginning, and I'm yeah. like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? <laughs> I can crank through this one and drink. My heart is broken. It honestly feels like David Gordon Green like didn't want to be a part of this one. Yeah. Like it feels like everybody like phoned it in in the weirdest way and it's fucking the last thing I expected. All right, guys, we have the last one. This is the last one I'm gonna, that this team is ever going to do. Let's yeah. all act like we don't give a shit. Does, does anyone really want to do it? <laughs> yeah, right? Let's go to superhero trailers. That's how that works, you guys. Yeah. Carrying the crossbow is heavy lifting. That's what I think kind of gives me the, like, American Psycho vibe with him, too, is he's, like, a handsome, like, well-off man. And that wasn't, like, common in movies at the time or anything. Like, oh, my God, the bad guy's just a regular guy. Yeah, if he were playing like a crazy person, he's like a conventionally attractive dude, but. What is obviously fucking batshit nuts in the movies context? Like, it's funny too, because like women keep like going back to like rooms with him, and like there's all sorts of obvious red flags, and it seems even like the women are picking up on it in the context of the movie. And you're like, why do you keep going back with him? Like, what is going on? Like a hot guy, I'll really do a number on a woman. Chat's chill tonight, so I don't. The banker.
That fucking movie. Reeks of a bunch of people just cashing a paycheck on a license. That's what pisses me off. Better than that one house. I feel bad for the people who paid money to go see it in theaters and didn't just stay home and watch it on Peacock. Holy shit. I'd have been pissed if he decided to go see that in theaters. That's why I'm like, it feels like it was like ghost directed or something. I still don't understand. And now looking at all of them, it's like three like very fucking different movies. If you told me the first one was David Gordon Green and like the other two were ghost directed by some other dude, I'd be like, okay, that makes more sense. <laughs> Still can't fathom that this thing is actually dead. <laughs> and it's not. It really was just caked up. I know. It's yellow water. Yeah, but <coughs> I guess I can actually use the washish water to get the towel on.
this out real quick. Go watch the banker instead of fucking Halloween kill or Halloween ends. Keep saying Halloween kills, and that's actually a good one. Charles Reeves says, "What up? What up?" Right. What up, Charles Reeves? Good to see you, buddy. Pushing the card off screen on him, accidentally. Halloween ends, man. It certainly did. Eventually. Yeah, I guess you could say it ends unexpectedly, but I still don't think that's a good thing. I mean, at least it delivered what it promised. It ended. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely made good on that. Not even in a satisfying way. It felt like one of those, like, wouldn't this be funny endings to a movie? <laughs> like, they were like, how could we just go, like, full ridiculous with it? You should have done, like, the Wayne's World where they could not that. even care anymore. Where they dissolve, you know, like, all the alternate endings. Yeah, I was waiting for them to, like, fucking melt everybody down. Like, Pretty funny though when the the climax culminated with me accidentally guessing everything, but I guessed them as all different options <laughs> and they all happened. <laughs> I was like, oh wow, super unexpected when I jokingly guess everything you do in the end. God damn it! I'm gonna piss myself off into watching it all over again. You're gonna watch it all over again for. Just like different contexts, like knowing what you know now, does the movie still hold yeah. up? Yeah, does the movie still make me want to fucking put screwdrivers in my ears? I have a feeling it's going to. So, Okay, the blue is good on that now. It's good on the brown. Yes, I can. Ooh, this big is so weird. Here, so I can just do the just in case need a marker. 
I'm a dummy. I'm sorry, guys. Please have a good luck with the flag. Please forgive me this time. I'm still going to have to again. I'm I'm stretching out, Mike. You got this. I believe in you. If you make it through Halloween, I think you can make it through this. Mm -hmm. Just bit of pink for the lips.
This October, Michael Myers stars in a romantic comedy you weren't expecting. <laughs> no, not that Michael Myers. That makes sense. That's right, we're talking about the murderous one from the Halloween movie. The banker. <laughs> oh. Here goes on the poor eyes. If you felt your heart, you know, going back now, yeah, I had the bobcat taken over. Me. Yeah, here's a real nice fuck up mesh. Instead of ruining that pen spotting, so I can be smart about it. Oh god, if I can open this. Try. No, I was like, this one will open easier, but it's like, I don't know if that thing's fucking just ancient or what. That was crazy. Paint this out with a shitty old brush. Probably should have used a different brush. This brush made of gorilla pubes, evidently. It's literally like matting, like I'm painting with a dead dog. Put your point on the brush set and check your Gorilla pube brush. Hey, Mike, you want to do me a grand old favor and just throw that in that trash <laughs> can over there? Yeah, I got you. <laughs> Holy shit. This guy. This Cheap shit. You can do like a DUI. It's splurged. <laughs> So did the gorilla. All the colors of the wind. I wish I knew more of that song. <laughs> so go back. Mike's a big polka on his head, but that wouldn't have gone anywhere. <laughs> that joke died before it lived. So if you've gone too long, you may have had a shot. <laughs> Whoops. Halloween is my monster is now destroyed. Monster is also your monster. I can never make make fun of Danzig again. No, because I don't actually care about the monsters. Halloween I cared about. 
That's true. I was excited for this. I fucking barely know dick about monster the monsters. This is like me with every annotation of I have monsters that's ever come out of life. Till I direct it. Haha. <laughs> Done, because there's no way I'm punching Pascas into that wet ass black ink tonight. We'll let it chill. We'll let it dry. Actually, like how he looks without all the highlights. Actually, we'll get in here. Punch him all the shit over the bush. I think that's a wrap. Goodness, which make sure is actually in the frame properly to see. It's the uh, bleach that water and then it's actually got black ink in it. Let's get some gray wash at that point. It does a fucking speed round tonight. What have we been going, like 40 minutes? Something like that? Uh, according to your time, 44. 45 minutes. Not bad. All colored and everything. Not bad. Got a quick one tonight. I'll hold it up to the camera. Get back to fucking doing my thing. Wake up in the morning, pack up a bunch of packages, finish up some sketches for the last of the packages, pack them motherfuckers up, and it's out. All right, this is still probably pretty wet. Yep, it's still pretty wet. But we'll hold it up to the camera here. See how it's looking. Give it time to catch up. Oh, lovely. Look at that. Beautiful. Hopefully it's focused nicely. Got it there. Got the crossbow killer from the banker. I'll probably add a little Posca highlight around his head. A uh, little catch light and everything. Oh, I did just realize too. I didn't go over, so technically it's not done. I'm going to go over that little bit of red in his hair. Overlay of gouache. So I'll get them now. All good. Yeah, I'll put a little Posca highlight around his head later on to distinguish him from the black background. But there we are. Banker killer. All done. Another night of Halloween. Tomorrow night we got uh I'll put the headset on really quick. We got Kino Corner coming on. We'll be doing a sweet Give away a copy of Deep Red, and whoever wins will also get the Deep Red card, unless they want a different card with it in just the movie. I guess we can do that, too, but uh, let's plan on pairing them together. Yeah, no, I'm just going to pair them together. So you'll get the Deep Red card, and you'll get the uh, the movie as well. Um, and I actually got packages here on my desk ready to ship them out immediately with the other stuff, so... I will have you DM me your name on Twitter and your information. I will pack it up, and it will immediately go out with all of the other packages as quickly as possible. Cards come in a top loader signed by me. 
Here's actually the one that GJ won last night, the Blood and Black Lace one, which has already got the top loader. I got to write Blood and Black Lace on the back, sign it, and then it's going in with the sketch cover of his that I'm finishing inking tomorrow. So we're on track, dudes. It's going to be a long weekend. It's going to be a work weekend, but we're going to get a shitload done, and hopefully we will be done fulfilling books on the other side of the weekend. Uh, but thank you so much for hanging out with me, and I will see you guys back here tomorrow night at 9 p.m. Eastern, the standard time for Halloween. We will be hanging out with Kino Corner and talking about Deep Red, giving away a copy of that book, or that movie, I should say. So thank you for hanging out. Share it with your friends, and I will see you tomorrow. Take it easy.